Thank you. ಜಿ that was actually that was on uh, meet and fng piece so it's a very important for exam so we'll start with the first image and before uh, starting on the idea radiology questions are going to be minimum 10 questions will be coming from radiology at uh, radiology and orthopedics will be together so they'll ask you like that club uh, archaeology with the surgery they can give you a bowel obstruction um in this they can tell you what you go to type of skin and to give a uh, photo uh, of a fracture a fractured bone and they're going to ask you which type, what type what is the name of the fracture it is so it can be the possibility is a lot like this but uh, i'm sure you 10 questions will be coming from radiology and uh, let's start Actually, the finding in low more. Can anyone tell me the answer? Please uh, unmute your mic and tell. Identify the finding in below more. Right? This is tiger eye appearance. Alvarden Sparks Syndrome. Yes, good. Alvarden good, good, Sparks correct. Syndrome. I got I appearance seen in Haller, Warden, Spats disease. Haller, Warden, Spats disease. Can anyone tell me Haller, Warden, Spats disease? parts this is due to deficiency of vitamin yes due to deficiency of vitamin b5 what's the name of vitamin b5 pantothenic acid yes pandotinate so this appearance is due to a condition called p k a n pantotinate kinase associated neuro degeneration because of the deficiency of the vitamin b5 pantothenate there is a degeneration of the nerves happening and because of the degeneration of the white matter we can have the tiger eye appearance in the mri which is a very rare disorder characterized by progressive extra pyramidal dysfunction and dementia yes next image mercedes benz sign mercedes benz sign seen in goldstones very good goldstones mercedes benz sign seen in about stones yes camping glass have a correct camping, camping glass. glass appearance seen in 
Please unmute your mic, students. Thank you. Yes. Sampai kelihatan kelas appearance, seenan. Or sampai kelihatan kelas deformity, seenan. Account row place here. Account row place here. Yes. Next image. You can see the... Sorry. Can you repeat? Uvic sarcoma. Correct. Yes. Uvic sarcoma. Uvic sarcoma. So you can see the onion skin appearance. That is because of the periosteal reaction happening. So Uvic sarcoma. Yes. Sunblast appearance, osteosarcoma. Sunblast Very appearance, good. osteosarcoma. And uh, why there is this appearance, sunblast appearance or sunshine appearance? Because of the reason, what reason? They have asked this question in FMG. Because of the periosteal reaction that is happening. So osteosarcoma, the preosteal reaction uses the um, sun bright or sunshine, sun ray appearance. It's golden is sign seen with. So here you can see the golden is sign and the tumor can be seen here. Here you can see this yes in the tumor here. So it is seen with some boldness sign. Seen on both the just X-ray. And on CT, it is typically seen with right upper lobe collapse, and it is created by this collapse is caused by. Uh, central mass obstructing the upper lobe bronchus. So this is golden S sign. Golden S sign is seen both PHS radiograph and CT scan. It is named because the sign resembles the reverse S shape and is therefore sometimes referred to as the reverse S sign and it is typically seen with right upper lobe collapse and it is created by a central mass, most commonly a tumor. Yes. There is salt, there is pepper, and you have a skull x ray. Yes, salt and pepper. Multiple myeloma. No. Multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma, you are going to get uh, dot blot punctuate lesions. Here you have. Uh, there is few areas of black and few areas of white spot spots dot dots. This is salt and 
appearance in skull x-ray seen in hyperparathyroidism because of the uh, we learned already in endocrinology hyperparathyroidism parathyroid hormone is going to erosion cause the erosion of the bones it's going to erupt the bones because of the eruption or the erosion we have this uh, important image appearance salt and pepper appearance seen with hyperparathyroidism okay <clears throat> salt and pepper appearance on mri is seen in glomus tumor either they can give you the image and ask or they can give you just as like a theory question i can ask you salt and pepper appearance in skull x-ray hyperparathyroidism salt and pepper this question is for you guys certain the per hair is seen in scleroderma yes. no in scleroderma you going to get salt and pepper skin pediatrics salt and pepper hair is seen in which uh, topic which condition from pediatrics This is the clue for you guys. Wash your cup. Salt and pepper appearance of skin is seen in scleroderma salt and pepper what can be seen in we learned before yes we learned this in optal and also in pediatrics congenital rubella syndrome and also sometimes in congenital certain pepper appearance of parotid gland is seen in jogren's syndrome so this is with certain pepper certain pepper appearance in mri glomus tumor certain pepper appearance in skull x-ray hyperparathyroidism certain pepper hair seen in kwashior kerr certain pepper appearance of skin scleroderma certain pepper retinopathy congenital rubella syndrome or congenital syphilis and congenital appear certain uh, pepper appearance of parotid gland is seen with jogren syndrome we move on to the next image Yes. So here we have the image of 
extra dural hemorrhage and subdural hemorrhage extra extra dural hemorrhage and subdural hemorrhage are very very important most important um, ct scan finding of the brain mainly for surgery or radiology they can ask you question extra dural hemorrhage or subdural or subarachnoid very much important please read whatever is given in the notes just that is enough also known as the epidural hemorrhage which uh, vessel is involved involved vessel they have asked this on the also question fmg in fmg middle meninges involved vessel very good middle meninges middle meningeal artery what is the characteristic feature lucid interval lucid interval is very 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 important word in the question if you are given a image and you couldn't find whether it is a, a crescent or whether it is a concave or convex look for word lucid interval lucid interval happens only in extra dural hemorrhage and the ct scan finding lenty form or a lens shaped hyperdense lesion between brain and skull so this is edh then we have subdural hemorrhage vessel involved vessel subdural hemorrhage involved vessel is yes middle meningeal artery no oh, just now middle we learned middle meningeal artery extra dural hemorrhage in rapid hemorrhage involved with vessel is middle meningeal artery yeah bridging vein please don't get confused in extra dural or epidural it is middle meningeal artery in subdural hemorrhage it is the bridging veins you can remember with extra dural e middle meningeal artery so subdural hemorrhage involves the bridging veins so here we have the extra dural and the subdural hematoma on the left side you can see a lemon shaped or a, a lens lentiform shaped appearance that is your extra dural hemorrhage and on the same image right side in the left side this one you can see the crescent so crescentic seen with subdural hemorrhage and involved uh, vessel is bridging veins and the lentiform appearance going to give you is from edh lentiform so this is extra dural and subdural hemorrhage this one is edh or sdh the second image edh or sdh edh yes so this edh. is edh have the anti form not a crescent so this is edh 
and edh uh, because of which uh, artery is involved in edh middle meningeal artery and sdh middle meningeal artery bridging veins which vessel very good bridging veins Please don't get confused so we see a short question 50 year old post menopausal woman gets her first screen mammogram within the right upper outer quadrant a uh, 2 cm well defined oval mass has dense popcorn calcification and surrounded by thin radio lucent rim the mass is well defined diagnosis options fat necrosis somatoma fibroadenoma papilloma fibroadenoma very good fibroadenoma so, 2 year old female postmenopausal woman gets her first screening mammogram with power to be well defined over mass has been popcorn calcification surrounded by the surrounded by thin tubes and rim the answer is fibroblastoma sir it is not malignant it is a tumor here we have the image of the popcorn calcification is a well defined mass it is not uh, you can see this is micro or macro calcification macro calcification in breast cancer if there is micro calcification it's going to be malignant macro calcifications or these popcorn calcifications seen with fibro adenoma okay so this one is very important lead pipe appearance or the host pipe appearance of the colon classic barium enema finding that is seen with chronic ulcerative colitis there is usually in the intestines we have the hostile markings like this markings will be present so these markings are lost and th these are lost into the blood pipe or the host pipe appearance there is complete loss of the hostile markings in the disease section of the colon the organ appears smooth walled and cylindrical giving the important appearance lead pipe appearance of the colon seen with chronic ulcerative colitis yes you have the image of strawberry and you have the image uh, as a resected portion of the gall bladder anyone is actually a surgery made but i want to 
teach you this image because this was asked in neat polystrosis very good very good process so this is strawberry gall bladder seen with the polystrosis of the gall bladder to we'll look at some appearances with strawberry strawberry tongue is seen in kawasaki kawasaki dish kawasaki good kawasaki dish kawasaki strawberry gums are seen in vagus of the teeth good vagus granulo natosis strawberry nasal mucosa rhinophyma rhinophyma no you will you will get strawberry nasal mass in rhinosporidosis nasal mucosa is seen in sarcoidosis strawberry nasal mass strawberry mass is seen in rhino sporidosis strawberry vagina trichomoniasis trichomoniasis very good trichomoniasis strawberry nevus strawberry nevus is seen in capillary hemangioma so this is with strawberries strawberry tongue kawasaki disease strawberry gums vagus granulomatosis strawberry nasal mucosa sarcoidosis strawberry nasal mass rhinosporidosis strawberry vagina trichomoniasis and strawberry nevus capillary hemangioma so this is strawberry gall bladder seen in polystrosis it's very important the image coaptation of iota see a coaptation of iota good coaptation of iota very good coaptation of iota coaptation of iota very very important image coaptation of iota pediatrics pediatric infantile and pediatric are usually the coaptation happens in the preductal area in adult it is post ductal usually in both pediatric and in adult male is more common than female happens in a corona syndrome there is inferior rib notching and there is three sign because of the pre stenotic dilatation and the post stenotic dilatation pre stenotic dilatation 
and the post stenotic dilatation and you have reverse yes reverse 3 or uh, e sign in barium study for the same coarctation of aorta so yes sign is seen with coarctation of aorta this is the three sign yes pulmonary edema pulmonary and uh, appearances back thing appearance back thing appearance sorry back wing appearance that is yes back wing appearance bilateral pulmonary edema this radiograph shows a symmetrical diffuse fuzzy shadowing of the pulmonary edema giving us the back wing appearance so this is pulmonary edema back wing appearance yes very 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 important image yes apple cor appearance yes seen apple cor appearance colon cancer colon cancer stay colon correct colon sorry stay colon colon cancer is correct which side of uh, the colon left side or the right side right side right side sure Yes, sir. Yes. Now, usually the right side are more hypertrophic, and the left one is going to be uh, uh, destructive. Cancer uh, left has the apple core appearance. So this image has been asked in FMG apple core appearance, seen with colon cancer, and it's mostly the left side. apple you will see some appearances with apple apple peel appearance seen in intestinal atresia apple jelly nodules are seen in you must answer this question apple jelly nodules lupus algaris apple sauce अपीरियमोमा So this is apple core deformity, and they have asked you which site. That's why I asked about the site. They have given the image, and they have they have given us options as right colon cancer, left colon cancer. So left colon cancer is the right answer. This is the geographic skull seen with eosinophilic granuloma. Just a one liner. Geographic skull is seen in. Yes, no, fully grand loma. Yes.
usually represent congenital dilatation of the most distal most distal portion of the ureter the dilated portion of the ureter can herniate into the bladder giving the cobra head or the adder head appearance and the ivp or the intra spilogram filling defect in the bladder that's our cobra head sign okay so this is a ivp intravenous pilogram yes we have the image of the vertebrae and you have a sword sir clue can you help me what is the answer yes this is the dagger sign or the sword sign seen in ankylosing spondylitis what is the other important sign seen with ankylosing spondylitis of the vertebra bamboo spine very good bamboo spine bamboo spine bamboo spine so this is ankylosing spondylitis which uh, actually involved in ankylosing spondylitis p27 p27 good good p27 ankylosing spondylitis it is a systemic chronic autoimmune spondylo arthropathy actually b27 positive 
or of positive or negative chromatide factor is negative so this is a zero negative arthropathy systemic manifestations you can have acute or uh, chronic anterior uveitis or iritis heart disease there can be cardiac conduction abnormalities there can be pulmonary fibrosis and renal amyloidosis this is some short important points for with ankylosing spondylitis this one is this one has been asked anterior uveitis ankylosing spondylitis most commonly causes anterior uveitis actually involved is b27 and it is chromatide factor negative this is your dagger sign or swart sign seen with ankylosing spondylitis boot shaped heart seen with tof tetralogy of father you all know this very easily you can find it yes cobble stoning and the string sign of cantor is seen with crohn's disease crohn's disease in ulcerative colitis you get the hose pipe or the lead pipe appearance whereas in the crohn's disease you are going to get the cobble stoning and the string sign of cantor here you can see this because of the destruction you can have the string sign of the cantor seen with crohn's disease what is the pattern whether it is uh, continuous or skip lesions in crohn's disease whether it is uh, continuous or skip lesions yes skip correct skip lesions are seen in crohn's disease because of these skip lesions we are getting this cobble stoning this area has been destroyed this area is not destroyed so there is skipping of the destruction because of the skipping of the destruction we are going to get this cobble stoning appearance seen with crohn's disease some important points about crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis very 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 important topic uh, from the point of surgery crohn's disease ulcerative colitis site of origin crohn's disease site of origin is terminal ileum yes correct terminal ileum what about uh, uc site of origin for ulcerative colitis is ileum pattern cd is skip lesions this is continuous is going to involve the transmural completely whereas ulcerative is going to involve submucosa or the mucosa complications in crohn's disease you can have fistulas abscess 
obstruction and you will try to call it as embryo toxic megacolon on the radiograph radiographic findings string sign seems and probable stone is seen with crons on a berry barium x-ray ulcerative colitis you can have the blood pipe colon on the barium x-ray colon cancer risk slight increase whereas with ulcerative colitis it is markedly markedly increase very high chance for getting into a malignant condition and this is ulcerative colitis and crohn's disease crohn's disease involves the starts with terminal ileum whereas ulcerative colitis starts with ileum sorry i'm not here so all straight to colitis involves the rectum pattern of progression is going to be skip lesions in cd and continuous in all straight to colitis thickness transmural in crohn's disease submucosa or the uh, mucosa in all straight to colitis complication in crohn's fistula abscess obstruction hemorrhage toxic megacolon in ulcerative colitis radiograph in crohn's disease is going to be skip lesions leading to the cobblestone appearance and uh, string sign of cantor in ulcerative colitis lead pipe risk of colon cancer high with crohn's disease and it is very very high with ulcerative colitis this crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis this is double bubble appearance double of bubble appearance is seen with duodenal atresia or the annular pancreas triple bubble appearance or triple bubble sign is seen in jejunal atresia very very good jejunal atresia these questions have been asked in exam triple bubble sign is seen in jejunal atresia yes coffee bean sign sigmoid valvulus very good very good sigmoid valvulus coffee bean sign seen in sigmoid colon valvulus coffee bean sign seen in sigmoid colon valvulus yes rambo spine ankylosing spondylitis rambo spine ankylosing spondylitis rambo spine seen in ankylosing spondylitis yes this is very important question very very important image empty delta sign seen in did you guys had a radiology class yes sir okay yes sir. we must have learned this right empty delta sign seen in Okay. In the superior 
sagittal sinus thrombosis very much important image superior sagittal sinus thrombosis gives us the empty delta sign usually the superior sagittal sinus is triangular shape this triangle shape in greek letters we call it as delta okay so superior sag sagittal uh, sinus cross section you will have a uh, triangular shape but since there is a thrombus on the superior sagittal sinus when we give a dye in our blood and when we do a contrast enhanced cct contrast enhanced ct or cct the dye is not taken up here only because of the thrombus inside since there is thrombus inside this dye is not taken usually the dye dye will be taken up since the dye is not taken up this is called as the empty delta sign okay empty delta sign is seen in superior sagittal sinus thrombosis ivory vertebrae yes ortho okay i will give you a short case Sixty years old male with bones, bony abnormality at upper tibia. She is also having sensory neural hearing loss. On examination, the serum. alkaline phosphatase levels are increased skeletal survey shows ivory vertebrae bony amal uh, abnormality of upper tibia and there is sensory neural hearing loss present serum alkaline phosphatase has been increased skeletal survey shows ivory and uh, cotton wool spots fibrous dysplasia osteo process osteo sclerotic metastasis pages pages disease very good pages disease so answer is pages disease in pages disease there will be multiple bones involved and can have because of the temporal bone involvement you can have sensory neural hearing loss and ivory vertebrae cotton wool spots also there is picture frame vertebrae seen with pages disease this is pages so ivory vertebrae is seen with Pages disease. Picture frame at a brace also seen with pages. Codfish at a brace. 
fish mouth vertebrae seen with yes very important image friends fish mouth vertebrae i have already shown image for this part fish vertebrae in our ortho session not the same image but a different image there is biconcave appearance of vertebrae biconcave appearance due to severe okay i will give you a short clue this codfish vertebrae is seen in a metabolic bone disease and it is most commonly seen in a post menopausal woman anyone osteoporosis osteoporosis yes yes osteoporosis correct. osteoporosis osteoporosis yes. so even if you don't know this image codfish vertebrae or fish mouth vertebrae even if you don't know this image please look for the clue in the question before i was uh, i didn't tell about uh, this post menopause but after telling you knowing about this post menopausal woman when you think about post menopausal woman metabolic bone disease most commonly it is going to be surely pakka osteoporosis so you you have answered so just by looking at the image don't think you don't know this question read through the question if there is any look for the clue look for the age look for the gender look for the uh, symptoms what they have given signs what they have given then answer so this is codfish vertebrae seen in severe osteoporosis this is again the same apple core deformity seen in colon cancer colon cancer yes colon cancer yes acclesia cardia parents acclesia cardia correct cardia oh acclesia ardia okay this is a surgery question what is the type name of the surgery that you do for uh, ecclesia cardia ls myotomy very good very good ls myotomy good ls myotomy ls myotomy is a surgical procedure in which the muscles of the cardia are cut allowing you to eat food and uh, the liquids to pass to the stomach so this is acclesia cardia is the barium swallow shows the dilated esophagus with poor empty so this is bird's beak appearance ecclesia cardia yes target sign target sign on usg ultrasonogram topic. sorry topic i didn't hear properly can you repeat target sign on ectopic pregnancy, ectopic pregnancy. Um, i'm not sure actually um, intersusception you can have the target sign usg into ring of fire is ectopic 
ring of fire yes. is took ring of fire into suspicion target sign is seen into suspicion and uh, what is the triad of into suspicion there is abdominal pain what is the color of the stool present Parangeli. presenting with indism sorry paranjali very good paranjali stool jelly stool or current jelly blood in stool and uh, sausage shaped mass on palpation often most commonly seen with the upper right upper quadrant diagnosis you are going to have the ultrasonogram abdominal usg in the abdominal usg you can have the target sign or the donut sign target sign any name you can call them donut sign or target sign so seen with into suspicion and the treatment is going to be the reduction with the help of star enema or a lap hemostatic microscopy laparotomy will be done please remember this red current jelly blood in stool if they have mentioned you mentioned this in your question the answer is going to be 100% into suspicion only because this red current jelly stool is pathognomonic for into suspicion pathognomonic will not be seen in any condition so this one is a surgery question actually red current jelly blood in stool a red current jelly stool seen in into suspicion it is a pathognomonic if you have found this red current jelly in your question go for into suspicion this again the same image cobra head appearance pure dressil putty kidney is seen with this image has been asked in uh, i think uh, the last year fmg i'm not sure but uh, in the recent this uh, last year i think they have asked this question putty kidney tuberculosis very good tuberculosis, tuberculosis. of kidney so it is seen with renal tb putty kidney snowman's heart figure of eight appearance transposition of great uh, arteries transposition of great arteries p a p b c egg on side appearance seen in tga transposition of greater arteries boot shaped heart poa poa correct box shaped heart yes box shaped heart is seen in epstein anomaly epstein anomaly epstein anomaly which anti menic drug can cause this epstein anomaly
is lithium. If lithium was con uh, consumed during the natal period, during the antenatal, before uh, first trimester or the second trimester, any period, lithium can cause Epstein's anomaly. Flash shaped, hard to see in. Yes. Very cordial. Diffusion and the snowman figure of eight appearance is seen in T A P V C. Figure of three or E sign of or the scene in coarctation of iota yes coarctation of iota of iota so egg on side appearance TGA boot shaped POF box shaped Epstein's flask shaped is Pericardial effusion, snowman or figure of eight, TAPVC, figure of three or E sign, coarctation of iota. Sis? TAPVC. Yes. TAPVC. This is Corrin Sabot or the boot shaped heart scene in. Petrology of Charlotte. Shepherd crook deformity seen in. Ibus dysplasia. Very good. Very Ibus dysplasia. Fibrous dysplasia. Shepherd crook deformity seen in. Fibrous dysplasia. So. This is the chest X-ray. You can have the entire lobe is involved. So this is lobar pneumonia uh, or a focal non-segmental pneumonia associating. We, she, we can see a homogeneous uh, fibrinosuperative to consolidation of the right lobes. So this is lobar pneumonia. This lobar pneumonia is usually consolidation is usually due to a response of the lung to a bacterial pneumonia. This is lobar pneumonia. And here you can involve see the involvement of the bronchus or the air sacs. Here. So this is bronco pneumonia. the lung abscess you can have this ring sign and the most common cause for lung abscess is anyone yes hydratrixis no hydratrixis hydratrixis are very rare only not uh, as common as a bacterial infection. Bacterial infection also can lead to lung abscess. Staph aureus. Can also be due to a strep uh, streptococci, many gram negative organism, but the most common cause is Staph aureus. This uh, lung abscess or a pulmonary abscess is localized superative process within the pulmonary parenchyma. It happens only in the uh, lung parenchyma and it is characterized by the tissue necrosis with the marked acute inflammation. So this is lung abscess. 
this what is this appearance called anyone cannon ball appearance very good cannon ball appearance can ball appearance to in an on metastasis Cannon ball appearance is lung mets. Yes. Anyone? This is also very important image. Millery TB. Okay. Millery TB. I didn't hear. Millery TB. Are you saying millery Millery tuberculosis? TB. Yes, sir. Correct. Very good. Yes sir. This is Miliary TB. This image also has been asked in FMG and also in uh, NEET. Very, very, very important image. Miliary TB. You can see the dot, 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 dot. Patchy, patchy, patchy. So, Miliary TB is, is a potentially a fatal form of TB. from the mycobacterium tuberculosis bacilli and the miliary tb prognosis or uh, the miliary tb usually happens with someone who is suffering from hiv human immunodeficiency virus infection or if there is a widespread usage of the immunosuppressive drugs Miliary TB can be due to primary or can be due to secondary reactivation of the TB bacteria, TB bacilli. So this is miliary TB image. Please memorize this image. Very, very important image. Just visualize, keep uh, store it in your visual memory. Very important image, miliary TB. And next we have the bronchiectasis. In bronchiectasis, the appearances are very important. Okay, they, they, they won't give you a CT scan finding, I think. Usually, bronchiectasis, uh, CT scan findings have this many named signs. They can have, give you a, a theory question. So, I chose this image. Tram track sign, signal cells, cluster, uh, signal trick cells. When they form a cluster, they form the cluster of signal ring. String of bead appearance are seen in bronchiectasis. Tram track, signet ring, string of beads are seen in bronchi ectasis. Air presence sign. Yes? Seen in? Aspergillosis. Very good. In which one? Aspergillosis. In which type? Air presence sign is seen in? Invasive aspergillosis. The aspergillus has invaded the blood vessel, invaded the lung parenchyma, and there is a cavity formation. And this is air crescent sign seen in invasive aspergillosis. This water lily sign is seen in hydrated cyst of lung. What is the other name for this water lily sign? Camelot sign. When there is the detachment of the endocyst membrane leading to the hydrated cyst. What is the causative agent of hydrated cyst? Echinococcus granulosa. Very good. Echinococcus granulosa. Echinococcus granulosa. What is the definitive host? What is the intermediate host? Parasitology. Yes. 
definitive horses dog and the intermediate horses sheep they have asked this type of questions too in microbiology parasitology definitive horse intermediate host so this is hydrated cyst and the investigation of choice for hydrated cyst is cct abdomen this is hydrated cyst and the treatment is going to be with albendazole this is hydrated cyst here we have the image of the pneumothorax you can see the mediastinum shifting to right this mediastinum shifting to the right and you can see here there is absent absent lung markings and here you can see the collapsed lung this is pneumothorax there is mediastinal shifting to the opposite side there is absent lung markings and there is a collapsed lung pneumothorax here there is a left sided pneumothorax yes what is this image what is the sign what is the name of this sign seen with the pleural calcification yes or the pleural block seen with pleural block is seen with which condition silicosis asbestosis no confusion asbestosis this holy leaf calcific cations these are the holly leaves and here you can see these are the holly leaves seen with asbestosis pleural block or the pleural calcification mm, asbestosis called as the holly leaf sign or the holly leaf calcification yes what is the name of this sign money bag sign money bag sign okay money what and uh, it is seen in cardiac tamponade oh yeah they have given you pericardial leaf in just now we saw that uh, what all sign pericardial effusion water bottle sign in intestinal obstruction you can have string of pearl appearance a string of pearls can be seen on upright or in decubitus abdominal radiograph usually the string of pearl sign is seen with small bowel obstruction small bowel obstruction accounts for about 80% of the all mechanical intestinal obstruction so most, most commonly seen with small bowel obstruction there is gasless abdomen gas within the small bowel
sorry that is small pockets of gas in fluid fill small bubble so this is small bowl obstruction giving you the string of pearl appearance in radiograph of a adult male so this is intestinal obstruction string of pearl appearance clause sign is seen with intussusception gas in aorta yes seen with indicates yes gas in aorta indicates spalding sign indicates obstetrics test fetus test fetus fetus death fetus death Correct, correct, correct. Correct. And what is the name of the sign? Roberts sign. Gas in greater vessels. Of fetus indicates. fetal death so this is gas in aorta spalding sign is also seen with the death of the fetus loss of alignment there is loss of alignment and overriding of the bones of the cranial vault that occurs due to the shrinkage of the cerebrum after death of the fetus this is spalding sign here you can see the overriding and the loss of alignment of the bones of the cranial vault spalding sign the gas in aorta it is robert sign very important robert sign gas in aorta spalding sign is the loss of alignment of the bones of the cranial vault snow storm appearance is seen with hydratiform mold hydratiform mold very good so h mold or hydratiform mold we can have the snow storm appearance yes pcos yes anyone pcos pcos or the bcod and the, what is the name of this appearance string of pearls string of pearl very good string of pearl string of pearl appearance on a abdominal radiograph marble what is it very good marble obstruction string of pearl just on the ovaries we see os so here we finish the radio we will start with obg we will take a short break for 5 minutes and we will start with obg we have the in spm we would have learned the maternal mortality rate maternal mortality rate most common cause is going to be your obstetric hemorrhage obstetric hemorrhage can be of two types antepartum hemorrhage
postpartum hemorrhage <coughs> learn about postpartum hemorrhage first definition normal delivery how much blood loss in normal delivery is called postpartum hemorrhage c section More how much blood loss normal delivery and c section okay correct how is the ml for c section correct you also have mild moderate severe mild is 500 to 1000 ml moderate is 1000 to 2000 ml severe is more than 2000 causes causes of postpartum hemorrhage atonic uterus the most common cause if there is a large uterus infections or if there is a prolonged labor the uterus can lose its tonicity leading to the atonic uterus and leading to the failure of the clot formation or failure of congestion of the uterine vessels leading to postpartum hemorrhage next to atonic uterus because of injuries trauma to the uterus cervix or the vaginum or if the mother suffers from any coagulopathy like von willebrand disease or in case of idiopathic thrombocytopenia purpura and uh, in von willebrand disease what uh, clotting factor what is uh, deficient in von willebrand disease factor 8 factor 8 what is deficient in von willebrand disease not factor 8 von willebrand factor will be factor deficient eight. in von willebrand disease leading to the inactive and activity of the factor 8 one willebrand factor is secreted by pathology and willebrand the factor is secreted by the vagal palate bodies this is present in the liver so this is one willebrand disease uh, factor released by the vagal palate bodies there is four t's for postpartum hemorrhage over tone trauma causes for uh, pph thrombin deficiency and if the tissues are retained primary secondary primary within the first 24 hours of delivery secondary is 
more than 24 hours till 12 weeks management how do you prevent or to get used to prevent pph very good oxytocin prevention prophylactic im or iv oxytocin in uh, our body oxytocin is secreted from where yes anterior pituitary uh, endocrinology anterior pituitary are you sure can you recall once more again posterior pituitary gland yes posterior pituitary don't get confused anterior pituitary prolactin posterior pituitary oxytocin and vasopressin treatment iv oxytocin iv ethyl sorry methyl ergometrin yes ergot ergometrin ethyl mercot methyl ergometrin sorry ergot tablet miso prostol which prostaglandin is it pg e2 e pgf2 alpha pgf2 no pgf2 alpha is present in the eyes pge1 mm. okay sir pgf2 alpha where is it in eyes where uh, which condition we use pgf2 alpha in glaucoma use prost travatoprost as a surgery we can go for you train if even with the drugs or it's uh, the embolism there is no uh, stoppage of the blood loss failure of the congestion of the uterine artery then you can go for uterine artery embolization we move on to antipartum hemorrhage antipartum hemorrhage is any bleeding in the genital tract after eight weeks of gestation <clears throat> the most common cause is going to be Santa Previa. We have classification. Type one. It is 
Type one is present in three D, just in the upper and lower segment. One dips into the <coughs> sorry, dips into the lower segment. This is type one. Type two, the lower segment does not cover the cross. This is type two. It's not covering the cross. Type three, yes. Type three. What is type three? Anyone? Partially covering the os. Like this. And type four is going to fully cover the os. So fully cover the os. This is types of placenta previa. Type one and two are. Minor degrees. Type three and four are major degrees. Management. Postpartum hemorrhage is a painless bleeding. If there is a painless bleeding and it is a term, term birth like more than 37 to 40 weeks of gestation, management is going to be C section, cesarean section. There is a postpartum hemorrhage at term. It is not bleeding. Management going to be a vaginal delivery or a normal delivery. How we are, how we are going to manage type 4? C section. Very good. So, type four is going to be C section and type four is complete three is incomplete. To a vaginal examination, PV, placenta, the placenta eating away, placenta only for vaginal delivery, the placenta okay. Go for C section. Two. 
ಇಯರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ my voice all right or is it breaking again is it it's clear right now sir okay so type 2 we have anterior low lying placenta or and uh, two types we have in type 2 type a type 2 a and type 2 oh, b type 2 a but... okay sorry i forgot to share the screen type 2 a is anterior low lying placenta and the type 2 is 2 a okay, we have some type 4 incomplete sorry can we have some uh, from type 4 incomplete yes okay 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 sure so type 4 is going to be a complete placenta previa cesarean section is going to be the management so for sure type 3 is uh, incomplete so do a pervaginal examination and after the examination if the placenta is going inside moving away go for normal vaginal delivery placenta is not moving away go for cesarean section okay okay sir okay and type 2 2 a anterior type 2 b posterior if there is anterior low lying placenta go for normal vaginal delivery posterior low lying placenta go for cesarean section and type 1 going to be a normal vaginal delivery then there is postpartum bleeding happening and gestation is free term less than 34 weeks if there is less than 34 weeks the lungs of the baby is not matured lungs of the baby is not matured in case of a free term so in this case we have the important regimen mcafe johnson regime resuscitation and steroids resuscitation of the baby steroids to the baby then sedic even after embolization if the bleeding does not stop or if the bleeding does not stop in any types 
see section and there is no use of topolytics here so one this small question we started up with antepartum hemorrhage now yes. uh, we've been going with uh, postpartum bleeding yes postpartum hemorrhage postpartum we finished and now we are going with antepartum hemorrhage inside antepartum hemorrhage the most common cause is going to be placenta previa so that the pp represent placenta previa right no sir yeah 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 okay this is placenta previa next we have abruptio placenta or accidental hemorrhage this associated with hypertension preeclampsia smokers multiparous woman if there is premature rupture of membranes previously there is any abruption elderly woman so these these are the risk factors for developing abruptio placenta the name of the classification for abruptio placenta is shear and page classification this the name is important for us shear and page classification and the presentation is going to be a painful bleeding there is protraction of labor management fit is the baby as a term resuscitation if fetal distress is present go for c section fetal distress as is fetal heart rate less than 110 on doppler ultrasound if the fetal scalp blood ph is less than 7.2 it means the fetal is in distress and we should <clears throat> save the baby by cesarean section there is loss of fetal movements or the there is inability to localize the fetal heart sound this are not a sign of fetal distress we have to localize the fetal heart rate and if it is less than 110 on doppler or if there is fetal scalp blood having ph less than 7.2 
then only we can say it is fetal distress not by this loss of fetal movements or inability to localize the hot sounds and if the baby is at for example less than uh, preterm or at 32 weeks go for same resuscitation steroids mccafe johnson and sedation next we move on to very important topic pregnancy induced hypertension what is the definition hypertensive in pregnancy after 20 weeks of gestation in uh, previously normotensive woman is very important in uh, previously normotensive female and now her bb bp is more than 140 90 mm mercury in more than two occasions or settings with more than 6 hours apart we can label it as hypertensive in pregnancy previously normal tensive female is very important so we have pre eclampsia pre eclampsia is hypertension with proteinuria yes correct hypertension with proteinuria more than 300 mg in 24 hour urine or there is one plus in lipstick this is preeclampsia and yes eclampsia definition yes preeclampsia plus seizure convulsions yes correct correct preeclamptic toxemia with uh, generalized tonic clonic seizures or convulsions predisposing factors for imminent eclampsia that is if the lady is going to develop a convulsion what are the signs that can be found predisposing factors are headache in a preeclamptic woman with a headache we can suspect a seizure 
so headache there is major asia yes correct major what is it increased or decreased increased increased good what about the eye vision what happens to the eye vision blurring of vision increase knee jerks there is epigastric pain there is proteinuria more than 2 grams in 24 hours urine or the bp is more than 160 110 mm mercury these are the predisposing factors for a impending seizure or imminent eclampsia headache nausea vomiting blurring of vision increased knee jerks epigastric pain proteinuria more than 2 g in 24 hour urine bp more than 160 110 mm mercury what is the drug of choice for eclampsia management magnesium sulfate magnesium sulfate very good and what is the name of the regime used very important regime eclampsia eusefi regime sorry mccafe mccafe no uzp uzp um i'm not sure uzp whether there are many regimes used in eclampsia but the um, most commonly used one is pritchard regime correct pritchard yes, regime drug of choice is mg so4 we can have it as im with iv as richards regime it is the method of choice or we can use only iv and that is zuspan regime drug of choice for hypertensive emergency in pregnancy labitolol very good drug of choice for hypertensive drug of choice for hypertensive emergency in pregnancy is iv labitolol labitolol is what drug what blocker is it alpha plus beta blocker very good sir alpha and beta blocker which receptor in alpha and which receptor in beta alpha 1 alpha 2 yes propranolol bisoprolol metoprolol beta 2 and alpha 1 block so what is the etiology of 
hyper tension in pregnancy usually after 20 weeks there is invasion of the trophoblast invasion of the trophoblast and the trophoblast is replaced and there is replacement of smooth muscle layer if there is persistent of this smooth muscle layer or if there is no proper trophoblastic invasion is going to lead to vaso spasm leading to hypertension or the pregnancy induced hypertension prevention of pah calcium supplementation is very important had been asked in the exam calcium supplementation fish oil capsules or low dose of aspirin antioxidants what are the vitamins antioxidant vitamin a c e very good vitamin a c e and the most potent antioxidant in, in this vitamins is which one vitamin e very good vitamin e is the most potent antioxidant then you move on to the stational diabetes mellitus gestational diabetes mellitus is at usually at 24 weeks human placental lactogen is formed from placenta human placental lactogen is formed from placenta this human placental lacto lactogen has an action of destroying the it destroys insulin leading to decrease in insulin levels in the mother leading to increased sugars this is the cause for diabetes mellitus in pregnancy screening of gestational diabetes mellitus usually after yes after 20 weeks 22 24 weeks yes 24 weeks what test we use two types of glucose test tolerance test yes Oral glucose yes glucose challenge test
ग्लूकोज टॉलरेंस टेस्ट दिस ओवरऑल ग्लूकोज चैलेंज एंड ग्लूकोज टॉलरेंस टेस्ट आर बिकम अप्सलीट नॉट यूज नव डेज now we use a uh, one step test this is used for both screening and as diagnostic test we use 75 grams of sugar given to a fasting woman fasting if it is less than 92 is normal at 1 hour less than 180 at 2 hours Less than one fifty three is normal. If any one, if there is any one value abnormal, any one abnormal value, it is diagnostic of gestational diabetes mellitus. pre gestational diabetes mellitus or overt diabetes mellitus it is first trimester sugars higher and that can lead to the is directly proportional to the homogenesis anomalies sorry organogenesis yes correct first trimester the organogenesis happens so if there is increased sugar levels in the first trimester it is going to cause anomalies in the baby the screening for diabetes mellitus should be done always in the first trimester itself what are the complication to the mother maternal complications baby is going to be very large large baby because of excess glucose large baby going to cause the baby to be delivered delivered as a cesarean section to deliver the baby we are going to use a lot of instruments forceps increased instrumentation if we use lot of instruments it can damage injure the birth canal of the mother increase birth canal injuries it can be poly hydramnios because the baby is going to urinate a lot polyuria will be there leading to polyhydramnios and this polyhydramnios can lead to premature rupture of the membranes because of the pressure and if there is rupture and if there is a infection leading to chorioamnionitis there can be 
corporeal success preterm labor for the mother complications for the newborn that can be hypoglycemia we learned in pediatrics there is that uh, peterson hypothesis increased glucose in fetus because of this increased insulin level in fetus fetus gets delivered comes outside to the environment now the glucose is going to be decreased because insulin still increased this is the reason for hypoglycemia and there can be hypo magnesemia hypocalcemia polycythemia for the baby hyperbilirubinemia that can be certain anomalies cardiac anomaly is the most common for an infant of the diabetic mother in cardiac which is the most common most common most specific POF. yes pof or vsd no, not pof no vsd is the second most common pg Okay. Transposition of grat- greater vessel is the most common, and it's going to be a most specific. Next to TGA, VSD, then PD. There can also be neural tube defects. Like anencephaly. spina bifida association which uh, vitamin spina bifida which vitamin deficiency leads to spina bifida yes please study vitamin B- vitamin B- vitamin B12 B12 no not vitamin B12 B2 B9 yes vitamin B9 very very important guys please study vitamin this this question has been asked in the fmg spina bifida which vitamin deficiency it's a very simple question please study vitamins 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 five marks for sure and in neural tube defect There is sacral A genesis or caudal progression syndrome. It's the most specific anomaly as far as. neural tube defect is concerned in neural tube defect the most specific defect is going to be sacral agenesis cardiac most specific or most common is anomaly is going to be tga second vsd third vd the management 
diet important monitor the sugar levels of baby on the mother plan delivery by 38 weeks and give steroids to the baby what is the drug of choice what is the drug of choice for a diabetic mother pregnancy induced diabetes or uh, there is diabetes previously diabetic mother insulin in pregnant yes very good insulin and what about oha which can be used in pregnancy oral hypoglycemic agents metformin. oral drug oral metformin and one more okay metformin is correct but they ask this drug play you right also known as gliban clamide they didn't ask metformin they have asked glibenclamide which drug is safe in pregnancy oha glibuuride or glibenclamide is safe in pregnancy and if uh, fundus examination is done fundus examination please look for retinopathy of the mother if there is any proliferation c section so this is about diabetes next we will move on to something important yes you can go on till 10 right a topic class we started uh, late to you can go on till 10 right yes can you guys hear me yes sir okay can we go on till 10 we started late today yes Or sir you want to finish okay Oh, ectopic pregnancy location most common what's the what's the most common location of Ample. ectopic intercession very good ampulla the fallopian tube ampulla fallopian tube is the most common in fallopian tube ampulla is the most common site of 70 percentage next is isthmus and the fimbrial area next to fallopian tube can go into o ovaries can go into the abdomen
for a ovarian ectopic primary ovarian ectopic the criteria used is spiegel books criteria and for primary abdominal ectopic just a name is important the name of the criteria they are never asked the what all points included in this criteria so the name is important for the abdominal and the ovarian primary abdominal ectopic criteria is chudi ford criteria process what are the causes of ectopic important most common cause is going to be pelvic inflammatory disease it is the most common cause next to pad there is any performance of surgery in the fallopian tube tubal surgeries like tuboplasty embryostomy you can go have ectopic there is any abdominal or a pelvic surgery is also we can have ectopic endometriosis and past tuberculosis a very important one previous ectopic is very much important this factor there is 15% chance for the next pregnancy to be ectopic 50% 15% chance if previous pregnancy is yes. also ectopic hcv infection sorry hcv infection yeah infections all those infection comes under your uh, pad pelvic inflammatory disease also we have the use of iucd or pop to the presentation there is going to be a symptoms pain abdomen is the most common presentation that is going to be amenorrhea and bleeding due to shedding of the decidua it can be syncopal attacks because of the bleeding signs can be shock it 
lower abdominal tenderness cullen sign yes cullen sign is discoloration above the umbilic very good whereas bruising are on the umbilicus not specific and turner sign is the bruising planks and on third vaginal examination that is cervical motion tenderness seen sorry cervical motion tenderness present sir very good very good yes in the management if there is a ruptured ectopic resuscitation is important resuscitation should be done secure uh, iv line you colloids iv fluids then plan the surgery and the surgical management is going to be can be done by laparotomy or laparoscopy the surgery done here is total salpingectomy removal of the fallopian tubes since the ectopic has been ruptured next unruptured ectopic in unruptured ectopic the mother in uh, obstetrics if you ask any obstetrician gynecologist baby or the mother first they will say should save the mother then the baby so here the same unruptured ectopic save the tube medical management miso yes miso miso prost drug is used methotrexate miso prost um, yes methotrexate is going to be the drug of choice what drug is it methotrexate what is methotrexate anti cancer what class very good anti cancer and it acts by mechanism kind of of action mechanism kind of of action is it inhibit vitamin b9 synthesis vitamin b9 uptake everything methotrexate is going to inhibit if you study about uh, this anti cancer drugs you can see there is a cell cycle m1 m2 this mitosis g1 g2 zero phase so in uh, i think i'm not sure in m2 phase i think 
we will have uh, vitamin b9 synthesis that is needed for the dna so this methotrexate is going to inhibit the vitamin b9 leading to no cell cycle leading to no dna formation so that's the drugs for methotrexate that's why we are using as a anti cancer drug so here also we are going to give methotrexate to the baby and then we can have actinomycin this is also anti cancer drug and mefi prostone these are all medical management for a unruptured ectopic and then surgical management surgery of choice is going to be a line ear salpingo stomy also we have line ear salpingo stomy or resection and anastomosis and the criteria for conservative management if the size of the ectopic more than 3.5 cm at cg more than 5000 i'm sorry not uh, conservative surgical size of the ectopic is more than 3.5 human chorionic gonadotropin levels are more than 5000 international units and there is cardiac activity present go for surgery next yes some physiological changes this question has been physiological changes in pregnancy has been repeatedly asked in exams physiological changes of pregnancy is very important topic uterus if it is a non pregnant woman uterus is going to be usually a 60 to 70 grams pregnant uterus at term is going to be a minimum of 1 kg 1500 grams this uterine there is uterine hypertrophy in pregnancy mainly because of estrogen estrogen mainly then progesterone the utero placental blood flow 
is increased progressively as the pregnancy progresses it increases about 450 to 500 650 sorry 450 to 650 ml per minute near the term about half liter is going and the uterine artery flow per minute is 500 ml each elemental iron required is totally 1000 milligram 500 milligram for the hemoglobin expansion 300 for fetus and the placenta and the balance is just weights wasted. We have the size cervix, signs in cervix after one month of pregnancy that is softening and bluish discoloration of cervix We have the Chadwick sign, all this sign, Chadwick sign, Godel, Hagar, Jigaymer sign, everything is important. This question has been asked repeatedly in FMG, need a Chadwick sign. Yes, Chadwick sign is, anyone? Bluish discoloration of cervix. Okay. What is bluish discoloration of cervix? Good old sign. Softening of cervix. Very good. Softening of cervix. Yeah. Agar sign. On pervaginum, the abdominal, abdominal and Vaginal fingers seem to oppose below the uterus. And then we have Jack Weimer sign. This purplish. Discoloration of mucous membrane of vagina early in pregnancy. 
and then we have hot man sign implantation hot man sign is nothing but the bleeding due to implantation implantation bleeding and lastly we have palmer sign it is rhythmic uterine contractions it is felt in early pregnancy then we go for the cvs audio vascular system heart moves subwards there is also hypertrophy of the cardiac muscle cardiac what happens to the cardiac output increases very good starts to increase as early as fifth week and it reaches to peak at 32nd to 34th week this duration is important they can ask you the duration which uh, week does the cardiac output reaches maximum in a pregnancy so they can ask you like that so please remember the numbers what happened to the blood pressure in early or mid pregnancy the bp usually is less late pregnancy the bp shoots up heart rate increase stroke volume is also going to increase peripheral resistance going to decrease heart sounds there is systolic murmur during the pregnancy more than 95% will develop it but it's not pathological disappears after delivery transient there can be a diastolic murmur too about 20% develops it there can be continuous murmur 
ten percent develops it, and this also no none of this are pathological, and this continuous murmur is due to increase in memory and blood flow. This is with heart. Then we go for hematology. Blood volume increases by minimum of thirty to forty-five percent at thirty second. to 34th week peak so the cardiac output reaches peak 32nd 34th week blood volume increases peak 32nd 34th week remember that and the blood volume is relatively diluted usually the red cells going to decrease the hemoglobin is also going to decrease from about 130 to 110 gram per liter albumin is also going to decrease there is decrease in red cell count there is decrease in hemoglobin concentration there is decrease in hematocrit also there is decrease in the plasma folic acid or the folate concentration there is increase in the white cell count or the wbc there is increase in the esr and there is also increase in fibrinogen concentration next we go for the respiratory diaphragm rises about 4 cm and the respiratory rate there is no change happening vital capacity no change the tidal volume increases by 40 percentage this has been asked in question an exam tidal volume increases the frc increases total lung capacity plc unchanged
inspiratory capacity is going to increase so plc is nothing but the frc plus ic so this one is decreasing and increasing so the total lung capacity is unchanged o2 consumption going to increase this is with rs urinary system kidney size increases by 1.3 cm gfr also going to increase at least by 50% due to the chemo dilution and increased renal plasma flow there can be glucosuria may be abnormal or may not be abnormal it can be protein urea we had a medicam per day the serum creatinine values decreases comes to 0.5 to 0.7 mg per dl ureter is going to be dilated because of the travid uterus pressure and the bladder is going to be frequent maturation because of the same increased pressure let's we go for the endocrine endocrine system also very important in physiological changes in pregnancy endocrine system the pituitary there is hypertrophy pituitary gland enlarges and because of this hypertrophy the maternal serum prolactin levels parallel the increasing size with increasing size the prolactin level increases and increases gonadotroph the one that secretes the fsh and lh is going to decrease in number corticotroph acth and the uh, thyrotroph secretes the tsh is going to remain constant
so lh fsh is going to be decreased prolactin is going to be increased and the acth tsh normal or sometimes increased some psychiatric disorders seen with pregnancy psychiatric disorders postpartum blues in 2 to 3 days It's due to the sudden withdrawal of progesterone and postpartum blues is the most common psychiatric presentation during the pregnancy it can be postpartum psychosis or pp psychosis around one and a half month after the delivery and there can be postpartum depression around 3 to 4 months and this is the physiological changes next we'll go for endometriosis endometriosis is definition is given by the samsons and it is the retrograde menstruation usually third to fourth decade females are going to be involved and the diagnosis is with the help of usg mri there's going to be increased ca125 and the best diagnostic uh, instrument is going to be laparoscopy what is the most common site of endometriosis sites of endometriosis oh yes it's yes, very good and pouch of ductus oh yes most common site is going to be ovary next to ovary is going to be the pouch of ductus bowel can be go to the lungs nose eyes if the 
if there is presence of endometrium on lung nose eye it is called as precarious menstruation if the female is menstruating via lung nose or eye it is called as precarious menstruation and ovary we have the important cyst chocolate cyst signs and symptoms there is going to be chronic pain there is going to be dyspareunia menorrhagia infertility poor ovulation the treatment we have surgical and medical surgical there is presence of adhesions adhesio lysis for chocolate cyst cystectomy and the medical management you can have the depo hydroxy progesterone injection or the dmpa giving this dmpa process atrophy of the endometrium that is present outside the uterus atrophy of endometrium in 3 to 4 months of treatment or tablet danosol danosol is an anti estrogenic action has a, it is actually a androgenic drug that's anti estrogenic action dmpa causes 3 to 4 months uh, atrophy atrophy in 3 to 4 months and danosol can increase the atrophy very faster than the dmpa there is faster atrophy side effect of danosol there should be some next to danosol we can give combined ocps gnrh analogs like liprolin gosrelin this question this they have asked in exam as a pharma question identify the gnrh analog it's a pharma question i 
we have the very short topic hrt hormonal replacement therapy we are going to deliver give the progesterone and estrogen that we prepared in the synthesis in the lab so what are the effects effects of estrogen skin it's going to decrease the subcutaneous collagen leading to a lax loose skin hair it is going to increase the growth of terminal hair so going to terminal area the hair is going to be thick hard dark and in the vellus hair it's going to be soft thin voice coarseness there is estrogen less estrogen in the bones is going to increase the fracture we already saw in ortho increase fractures most commonly it will lead to vertebral compression and in the brain estrogen is the reason for the mood swings heart coronary artery disease risk is more with the estrogen increasing and pelvis increased fractures and the normal ph of vagina is acidic because of the presence of the lactobacillus the glycogen comes to the vagina via blood and there is the bacteria lacto bacillus this lactobacillus converts the glycogen to monosaccharide if there is decrease estrogen the ph cannot be maintained can change to alkaline medium and there can be vaginitis infections vulvitis urethritis pad that can be a dry vagina leading to decrease in sexual intercourse or pelvic organ can prolapse the 
these are the effects of estrogen in the skin lax loose hair terminal hair thick vellus hair soft voice hoarseness if there is decrease in estrogen in the bones if there is decrease in estrogen it's going to cause increase number of fractures brain mood swings depression are due to estrogen in the heart coronary artery disease in the pelvis increase in fractures normally the ph of vagina is going to be acidic if there is decrease in estrogen ph is the acidic is acidicity is mainly because of lactobacillus and also because of estrogen if there is decrease in lactobacillus or decrease in estrogen is going to change the ph of vagina to alkaline leading to vaginitis vulvitis urethritis pad and there can be dry vagina leading to decrease in sexual intercourse or pelvic organ prolapse so here we finish our sessions we have had i think uh, five sessions my name is suresh number is 9360436121 i have completed my ug from china tianjin medical university and currently i am doing md psychiatry in madras medical college imh if you have any doubts you can contact me after clearing your fmg for for your pg preparation or for your uh, idea for getting any idea you can call me you can text me thank you for listening it was a wonderful you, session with you guys thank you thank you thank you, thank you.